How will electric air taxis sound? It's an important question, critical to public acceptance of the new mode of transportation. So Joby Aviation and NASA recently teamed up to better understand this component of electric flight. The collaboration happened as part of NASA's Advanced Air Mobility National Campaign, which seeks to build public confidence in emerging aviation technologies. NASA engineers came to Joby's remote test site with their mobile acoustics facility and set up more than 50 research-grade microphones in a grid array adjacent to the base. It allowed engineers to study sound emissions from multiple directions, understanding the intensity and the character of the sound in comparison to helicopters, drones, and other aircraft. This is the first time that we're able to operate with an EV toll, and we're going to be taking some acoustic measurements, understand noise footprint, uh, how that's going to integrate into the communities. It was also the first time that Joby opened its own doors to an outside agency specifically for acoustic testing. Joby has a very rigorous flight test program. NASA has extremely advanced research capabilities and bringing those two together here uh, has been a great challenge. The data generated from the study, coupled with the noise profiles of urban communities, can be used to verify how proposed aircraft operations will blend into existing background noise. This is a great step uh, working towards uh, better understanding noise in general from these, uh, this new vehicle class. Joby has already released several videos of its own showcasing the quiet nature of the company's aircraft, explaining how its six large propellers, low RPM operation, precision-tuned aerodynamics, and variable pitch blades avoids the harsh sounds typically associated with traditional helicopters. But Joby embraces this opportunity to work with the esteemed agency to further analyze the acoustic signature of its aircraft. However, it's not the first time that the two have collaborated. Both Joby and NASA began pursuing electric aviation in earnest more than a decade ago, and quickly came together to take advantage of parallels in their research and development efforts. Their collaborations have included the Leap Tech project for leading edge asynchronous propeller technology and the design of NASA's X-57 Maxwell experimental aircraft, where Joby contributed to the overall conceptual design and developed the aircraft's 60 kilowatt cruise motors and power electronics. We were working with NASA in you know, the projects we did back in 2012 through 2015 or so, you know, there's a lot of subscale ground testing and components. So it's pretty amazing today now that our own aircraft is, you know, it's in the flesh and it's pretty mature and we're actually flying it the, close to the way we would be flying it in actual service. With data collection from the two-week effort now complete, acoustic experts from both NASA and Joby will work together to analyze the results, bringing us closer to a new, quieter future of aerial mobility.
we believe that noise will largely define the success or failure of this industry. To be successful, we have to deliver customers as close to their destination as possible. This means regular flights in and out of built-up areas, which only works if the aircraft is really quiet. A few months ago, we shared a video of our aircraft taking off behind me. Today, we wanted to give another demonstration of just how quiet our aircraft is. This is a calibrated decimal meter, and over here behind me is our aircraft in hover. At 55 decibels, this is more than a thousand times quieter than a helicopter taking off at 90 decibels. As you can see and hear, it is not just quiet quantitatively, but also qualitatively, with noise that blends into the background. It is not the low-frequency wop-wop of a helicopter, which travels for miles and penetrates buildings, nor is it the high-frequency whine of a drone. Our goal was to mimic the character of natural sounds, like the wind or the ocean. In addition to optimizing the aircraft design to be quiet and hover, we have designed it to be even quieter in cruise. The propellers spin at less than half the speed in cruise that they spin in hover. This means that the aircraft goes from quiet in hover to nearly silent in cruise. We've designed, built, and tested dozens of full-scale propeller designs over the years and modeled dozens more, capturing incremental learning and benefits along the way to get that natural sound profile that I mentioned earlier. This is one of the harder things to do in this sector. Thank you.